Hello, Matthew Taming here. Welcome to another video tutorial for SP Page Builder 3. In this lesson, we're going to add a feature box. So you drag that over. And a feature box is a really great way for you to feature certain items. You notice here, once you drag it over, uh, it gives you this type of layout where you can have an icon at the top and a text in the middle and then another text at the bottom. So the best way for you to use this here, I'm just going to add in Let's just see. Let's just go ahead and add in another column. So make this three columns. You can make three or four columns. And you can edit each one. So let's click on this here and we're going to edit it. So you can have something about marketing. And you can change the text that's, that goes on there. You can put your text here. And as you can see, everything is uh, changes live as you're editing it. And then once you're done with this here, you can change the icon for that as well. And to change the icon, you can scroll down. And right now, set the trophy. You can click on this drop down here. And you can choose any icon that you want. Also, another thing, you can choose the type that you want to use. For example, when you click on this drop down here, you can choose an icon or you can choose an image. So let's choose an image so you can see what that looks like. So you grab an image. And sometimes you choose an image because maybe you've created a custom thumbnail or something that you want to use there instead of an icon. So I'm just going to grab this here to give an idea. So that's how that's going to look. And you can put in whatever text that you want at the bottom. Or if you don't want text at the bottom, you just delete it. It's not going to have anything there. And also you can link these here. You can link the title. So let's put this link. So now you've just linked this section right here. And you can click to clone it or you can create a new one but as you scroll down here you notice that you have several options here you can add the line height you can add the content alignment so if you click on left it's going to be on the left and if you click on center it's going to be in the center you can change the, the eye content size we're having the content right now that's why it's just blank and you can change the line height for that so now that you have this here let's just get and clone this and we're just going to drag it over to this column and we're going to clone it again and drag it over to the next column so as you can see you have three columns here you can add as many columns as you need just keep cloning and you can change the icon you can add text you can edit it so get and play with it and see what you come up with